crossfire. Where's our crossfire? Watch out, watch out. Get back. I got the victim. I got the victim. I got the victim. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Almost got me. Hi, Donut. Everyone here. <laughs> that just sounds f***ing wrong. Hi, everyone. Donut here. Welcome back from the holiday season. I hope on Christmas, Grandpa didn't drop too many racial slurs. Too many, Rick. Too many. And I hope on New Year's, you didn't get so drunk that you texted your ex a picture of your <laughs> We are starting 2024 off just the right way with a breakdown of some shooty shoots between a guy that kidnapped someone and a jump out boy who doesn't skip leg day. If you don't skip leg day, you know what that means? You probably have big hairy balls. But guess what? Our sponsor, Manscaped, can help you out with that. That's right. Step into 2024 with confidence. Make one of your New Year's resolutions not to have nasty hairy balls. Handle all that hair with the Performance Package 5.0 Ultra. That's right. It's here. Included is the brand new Lawnmower 5.0 Ultra, the Weed Whacker 2.0 Ear and Nose Trimmer, and aftercare products like the Crop Soother Ball Aftershave Lotion and Crop Preserver Anti chafing ball deodorant and you get two free gifts for your balls some boxers and a toiletry bag their fifth generation lawnmower comes with two interchangeable next generation skin safe blade heads a standard one for taking a little off the top and a new foil blade to go smooth wherever your heart desires and it's waterproof if you go to manscaped.com use the code donut you get 20 percent off and free shipping new year new you new balls that's code donut at manscaped.com for 20 percent off and free shipping let's do shootings when i first came across a little short clip of this video that we're going to break down today on Twitter. I was just scrolling, doing my thing, seeing if it was worthy of a breakdown. But then I saw this frame and I knew that this video had to be broke down, broken down. It's a broke ass video. It's getting broken down. Damn boy. Talk about a third world squat. Look how low you is. Your booty hole is touching the ground. Damn boy. Anyways, low squat on two wrecked police cars while pointing a Gucci pistol one handed at someone. Knew it had to go up on this channel. So here we go. Scottsdale, Arizona, November 13th, 2023, around 11.40 a.m. A 45-year-old man and a 43-year-old woman were holding someone hostage inside of a moving vehicle. Who do you call for stuff like this? That's right, Jump Out Boys. The Jump Out Boys start setting up a hostage rescue on a moving vehicle. That's f***ing difficult, boys. Difficult for a lot of reasons, but primarily because it's on a moving vehicle. The cool thing is, though, vehicles have windows. It's not like it's a barricaded suspect where they gotta send robots in or send cameras in, maybe try to tear gas someone out, but it still sucks because it's a moving vehicle. Let's go ahead and airdrop our own little jump out boy into the area where this is going to happen. Not everyone has this kind of technology, but thankfully I do. Come on, little guy. Let's do it. This is going to take place right here in front of uh, Moreno's Mexican Grill. Precisely like where that white Jeep is parked right there. Ooh, Moreno's got one star reviews. Ooh, Moreno's. You doing bad on the tamales. I never like to say food is nasty, but the food here is. Who gets a f***ing hot dog from a Mexican restaurant? All right. So we know the location, but what's the plan? If I can somehow come eastbound in the westbound lanes, I am going to tag the rear of that vehicle on the passenger side where I think that guy's hitting or sitting and I'm going to hit it hard to try to knock him out and the trailing vehicles can lock the vehicle up but we're also going to need an element going straight to that front door. I can do either. I'm literally stopped on the uh, street just to the north so I would flow in um, from uh, east to west. Front block. So I can go up. So I'll be coming west to east. This sounds like a solid ass plan and God damn it is a solid ass plan. You'll see that here in a second. The jump out boys of course are all in unmarked vehicles so these suspects can't see them coming. They're not running cherries and berries blasting in there cause then they'll get the, the hostage blasted. No blasting. Well, there's about to be some blasting. A lot of blasting. Before I show you the video, let's take a look at the overhead view so I can show you what's about to happen. This technology was of course given to him by John McAfee right before he died. If Bitcoin does not if it doesn't reach at least a million dollars by the end of 2020. I will eat my member, yes, and right eat it away. raw like I eat sushi on the table. Super advanced crime software that he developed for me. Fun fact, he actually sent me a message 10 days before he died, thanking me for a follow. You know, before he committed <laughs> died. This is the suspect's car right here. Don't pay attention to all these Ds. These nuts. <laughs> Got he. <laughs> 
This is the suspect's car right here. Somehow the Scottsdale police got a hold of my software, but thank you Scottsdale police for labeling these. Jump out boy one, two, three, and four respectively. So the suspect's parked right here in the parking lot and one of them went into the Mexican restaurant. That leaves one suspect in the back seat. You'll see him in a minute. He's not about to have fun. Now let's watch one of the most badass <laughs> takedowns I've ever seen. Cool was that? One more time. Now, if you look closely, there were little poofs of glass coming off of the vehicles. You know what that means, right? Uh, that was a firefight! Old hostage taker who is still inside the car opens up on police with a fully automatic SMG. So the jump out, boys. Do what they do, jump out and return fire. Little did the jump out boys know, the kidnapper was also wearing body armor. And he had more than one gun and a lot of ammo. Guess what the cops were wearing though? That's right, body cameras. Let's take a look at the officer who pulled up to the rear passenger side of the video's body camera first. This officer was the first to take fire from the suspect through his windshield. For the body camera footage, Sergeant Allison Simpson is gonna help me out because Scottsdale police released their own breakdown and basically says what I would say. <laughs> Per the rescue plan, Detective One's vehicle was the first to make contact with the suspect and immediately was shot at, taking fire through the windshield. <laughs> Detective One had to extract out the passenger door. Detective One ran around vehicles to avoid the crossfire. Detectives observe the suspect is wearing a ballistic vest and still has a firearm pointed towards detectives. Moves. He's getting it again. You got a vest on. Don't move! Copy, he's moving. Stand by. Calderon is still seen moving. Detective One fired additional rounds as Calderon still had a weapon pointed in detective's direction. If you watch that last part, the dude was still moving, so he caught five or six more rounds from the officer with the rifle. If you look right here, you can see that the cop who bailed out about got got. Those bullets sailed right into his driver's side front windshield. Now let's take a look at the body camera of the officer who pulled up last in the rear. This officer also caught some rounds through his windshield. This officer is also our boy who hops on top of the two crashed police cars in a third world squad. One hand in that Glock. If you notice, he has a rifle at first. We'll talk about that. Detective Two arrived directly after Detective One and positioned his vehicle towards the back of Detective One's vehicle. <laughs> Detective Two exited his vehicle and also immediately was shot at multiple times. Jump. What a clean ass weapons transition that was. It looks like his rifle jammed, so he goes directly for his pistol, which is a great idea because you don't want to sit there and try and clear a jam when someone is clearly shooting at you with a fully automatic weapon from 10 feet away. Remember, switching to your pistol is always faster than reloading. Detective two exited his vehicle and also immediately was shot at multiple times. Jump. Get him! 
Where's our victim at? Other detectives diverted and went to the business behind to contain the second suspect, Edge. At this time, there was still confusion on where the victim was during the incident. I got you, I got you. All right, back okay. Off. Detectives give a command to the suspect, don't move, who still has the firearm pointed in detectives' direction. He moves. He's getting it again. He got a vest on. Don't move! Copy, he's moving. Stand by. Get that. Okay, what about the officer who struck the suspect vehicle on the rear driver's side? Detective 3 simultaneously arrived with Detective 1, positioning his vehicle behind the suspects. Detective 3 exits his vehicle and is immediately met by gunfire from the suspect. Suspect down. So he lit that dude the f*** up, but unfortunately, our officer got shot. This clip shows the detective being fired upon and struck. Yeah, he didn't get shot bad, but it sounded like he did take a round to the ear. Hey, my ear's bleeding. I don't know if I took a round or not. Which means he's about, you know, inch away from death. Judging from the pattern of fire going into the police vehicles and how the suspect is positioned when you see him here in a minute after catching 20 rounds, it looks like he was on his knees facing out the back windshield and just goes... Covers all the officers on the rear. That was my machine gun noise. <laughs> That's what they sound like. <laughs> Last but not least, let's look at the body camera footage of the officer who hopped the curb, killed some bushes, and ended up in front of the suspect's car. Detective 4 sees Victor run away from the vehicle and hide behind a parked car. I got victim! I got victim! I got victim! Detective 4 runs over to the kidnapped hostage. I got the victim! I got the victim! I got the victim! Thank you guys. Thank you so much. <sighs> My only pucker factor right here in this entire situation will be the officer's crossfire because you got they're surrounding the car and almost all of them are shooting, which that kind of couldn't be avoided. But fortunately, none of the officers were struck by the other officers. The teen who was kidnapped was also smart enough to bail out of the car as soon as everyone started shooting. He runs behind an unoccupied truck. Victim exited the suspect's vehicle and ran to hide. Let's go back to our squatty boy camera to get a better look at the suspect. I guess I'll let Sergeant Simpus do my ah. job for me. Roger that. We're gonna hold here. Here's the gun used by the suspect. Yep, damn it, hold it, hold your gun, hold your gun. Just hold up. Here is a picture of the ballistic armor the suspect was wearing with bullets lodged in the vest fired by our detectives. This is a picture of two magazines that were taped together, located inside of the vehicle. Another handgun was located on the seat inside the vehicle next to the suspect. He's still breathing. He's still breathing. Here is another view of the gun that was used by Calderon. Breathing. Hey, I just took some, some strap and I'm good. Okay. Just to the ear. Man's still breathing right now. Hey, let's do, let's get some medic. Give me a trauma kit real quick. I got mine. Another rifle was located in Calderon's vehicle on the floorboard. Here is the suspect's fully automatic weapon that he used to fire at detectives. Damn, dude, where'd you get that sh Neither Demo, Brandon, or myself have a full auto UMP. Well, now that they shot that dude like 30 times, completely smoked him, you think I could get that at like a police auction or something, Scott still? Hook a brother up, just a little bit, just a little bit. In the end, the officer who said his ear was bleeding didn't take a whole ass bullet to the ear. Just a little bullet fragment, and if I had to say, I think it's gonna be all right. Hostage was okay physically, suspect went into the forever box. For as much firepower as that guy had, I am so surprised no one else got hurt. I gotta say though, dude, bravo to those jump out boys. That takedown was 
Chef's kiss. Beautiful. You boys should come to our next range day. Hit me up via email. And that is all I have for you fine people today. If you want to help support the channel, go watch the unsubscribe podcast. That's where I'm at now. But also donutoperator.com to follow me everywhere else or to get some super sweet merch. And until next time, please have a fantastic day. I would f*** <laughs> myself that lo-fi was playing in the background. Whacker.